Hi everybody, this is a quick tutorial on the new Barracuda spam filter. If you click on the link that was sent in your welcome email, it will bring you to this page. You put in your email address, password, and log in. When you first log in, it's going to ask you to change your password. Um, if you have lost your password and need to get back in, just hit send login information. It'll send you a new temporary password. When you first log in, it's generally going to show you the quarantined set of messages in the message log here. You can click on the drop down and select other groups. Select, select all. It'll show all the emails you've gotten. Green are emails that were allowed through. Red are emails that were blocked. Barracudas sure that they're spam or that they have a virus in them or something of that nature. Yellow are ones that are quarantined due to settings that we've enabled to help limit the amount of bulk email you'll get. If you have one of those that's something you need to have, if this is right here was somebody you need to have emails from all the time, or just want one email from, or if you just want the one, you'd hit deliver and then send it to your inbox. If you want them to be able to email you all the time, you'd hit whitelist and then they'd always bypass the quarantine. Um, if you have an email in here that was allowed, that's from somebody you don't want emailing you, they send you a bunch of junk mail or whatever, you can click on them, come down here and select block. If you block email, you block that individual sender. If you block the domain, you block everybody from that domain. You can do the same thing for blocked emails, although it's not generally recommended. You need to be very, very sure that that's an email you need before you release or whitelist somebody that's been blocked. If it has a, if it's been flagged as having a virus, which there are none showing up in here, they it show antivirus over here as the reason. Then you would have to, it won't be allowed to be released. You can't release it no matter what you do. Up here you see a couple spams that are showing aloud because I. I released them earlier when I was playing around with all the settings. They should they wouldn't have been. They were red until I did that. Uh, this list will show up to fifty emails if you have once you have more than that, because you will, it keeps a log of everything. Then there'll be a little arrow here to go on to the next page. It'll they're in reverse order, so the most recent ones at the top and you go back in time, it'll go down, and then you'd have to go to the next page to go to older emails after that. You go to settings, you got quarantine notification. You can't change anything here. It's it's locked down. Right now we're getting an email three times a day when you have stuff in the spam, in your spam quarantine. Um, as people get more, their people all whitelisted, I'll start taking some of these out. So we get to the point where we just have one in the morning like you're used to. Linked accounts, you shouldn't need to mess with. I'll take care of that if it needs to be done. Change password, just what it says. Standard password change form. Old one, new one twice, save changes. Sender policy, here's where you can go ahead and add a block or allow for people if you want to. It'll also show so anything that you block or allow on the message log tab will show up here and then you can change that if you want because, well, we really don't want Illinois.gov to be blocked, so remove that. You should know these are all on a 
per user basis. So anything you change in your panel is only for you. You're not whitelisting it or block blacklisting it for anyone else. If you know of things that need to be whitelisted for the entire building, um, let me know. I can take care of that on the global level. If you wanted to block a particular person, you could just I can type. You can choose to block, exempt, which is basically adding them to your whitelist, or quarantine, which means it would quarantine everything they ever sent you. So it wouldn't come to your inbox, but then if you had something you really wanted to release, you could go release that individual email. So if you want to block spammy sender, you could add a comment. And it's added. You want to remove it later on? You can remove it. The emails you get every day will only show you things that have been quarantined. It won't show you things that have been blocked. So if you you're expecting something and it doesn't show up in your quarantine mail, you can come in here and take a look and see if it's been blocked. Like I said, this shouldn't happen very often. Um, that is about it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, bye.